Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some useful and good time together. You know, all of us, we knew that the Mohammedan, they always speak uh, nonsense. And nonsense not because we find that the Quran is totally uh, trying to corrupt what the Quran is saying, that the Bible is saying, but the Quran itself is against the Quran. You know, there's a verse in the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, which means the God of the Muhammadan, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. In chapter 4, verse number 82, it says that. So the Quran itself set the rule of how to find if this is a book made by Allah, Aka Muhammad, uh, or not. You know the Muhammadan, they say that Muhammad is just a servant of Allah, but in fact, Muhammad is the God of Allah because he is the one who can even oppose the Quran, he can demolish the Quran, he can establish a new Quran, he can abrogate it versus the Quran. I mean, this guy, he is all over the place. But what you could not believe that Muhammad, he came with this. Don't they, why they don't consider the Quran? And by the way, the Muslim, they will say to you that the Arab were amazed by the Quran in the time of Muhammad. But this verse in the front of us says the opposite. Why they are not considering the Quran? If it's amazing, why they don't consider it? This is a good question, is it? Because simply it's stupid. And we will prove it to you today. Do they not, they consider the Quran carefully? Had it been from other than Allah, they would surely have found therein much contradictions. Wonderful. All of us, we hear the Muslims always saying to us uh, many, you know, many lies about Christianity. Now, as an example, like the Christian worship three gods. But all of us, we have, we knew that the Christian do not believe in three gods. That's the big fat lie. <clears throat> but uh, forget about now the lies the Muhammadan they post around. We have a verse in the Quran, the Muslim they keep posting for us. It says, إن مثل إيسا إن الله كمثل آدم خلقه من تراب ثم قال له كن فيكون. And this is chapter three, verse number fifty-nine, in English, which mean that the similarity between Jesus before Allah to Adam as to Adam, he is created him from dust, and then he said to him, be, and he was. <laughs> you know, like for someone who do not know the Quran very well. He will say, oh, okay, okay, Adam and Jesus, they are the same. But then if we go in the Quran, we will find that neither Adam, neither Adam himself, neither Jesus was created by such a method. I remember, we just told you that the Quran said, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradictions. So now we are not discussing if this is against the Bible or not. We are discussing it's how the Quran is against the Quran. And the Quran itself said the rule in chapter 4, verse number 82. If this is a stupid book, it's not from God, then you will find a lot of stupid things in the Quran. Absolutely. Now, I'm not going to mention scientific mistakes like the sun set in murky water and then the Muslim, they start to duck it and duct tape and say, oh, it appeared to him when the Quran says it clearly. He found it sitting, not he thought, he found it. When you report a find, you're report, reporting a find. But here we are talking about something very simple. You do not need science. I mean, one verse says, if this is a book, is not from Allah, then we will find contradiction. Let us go. So chapter 3, the verse we just showed you, it says that Adam was created by Allah saying to him, be, and he was. And the same for Jesus. But then if we go in the silly Quran, and I call it the silly Quran because I could not find more silly books, stupid book, more than this book. You know, those who don't speak Arabic, this is why you find that the Arab Christians, they are laughing at Islam for the last 14 centuries. And the Muslims, they have a very hard time to convince us because we can read the book or we can laugh at the stupid language, bad Arabic, bad grammar, bad pronunciation, bad writing, uh, 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 and stupid meaning. So look at what happened now. If we go in the Quran, remember Allah, what he did? Allah, he said to Adam, be, he said to Jesus, be, and they are there. But is it really what the Quran is saying? So if we go in the Quran, uh, we will find this. How Allah created, let us say, uh, Adam. Hmm. This is Allah speaking about how he created Adam. 
And there is, by the way, in the Quran, because it's a messed up book, you cannot find the story in one place. Uh, the Quran is like somebody was writing in a book and he was sitting next to the window. And then somebody opened the door of the room and the wind scattered all the pages all over the place. Not pages, even verses, you know, every like every every verse in a page. And uh, then uh, the one who gathered it, he just put it together, you know, without like there's no page number eight, number two, number three, number four. That's why they don't connect with, 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 with the, you cannot find the story in one place. You have to find the story all over the place. So if we read here, you know, how Allah created Adam. Chapter 15, verse number 28, 29. You can read all of it. You know, the Muslim, by the way, they say to you, oh, you are reading it out of context. It's in front of you. Even when this one need context. So Allah, he came to them, to the angels. And I don't know why Allah is coming and he's uh, asking the, the angels for consultation. Uh, Behold Allah, he said. And by the way, uh, I find it very funny that the Quran speaks saying this language. Behold uh, uh uh, the translation is very bad, by the way. It says, the Lord said, this is false. In Arabic, it says, إِذَا قَالَ رَبُّكَ When your Lord said, not the Lord, you know, but what you can say, this is Muhammadan translation, we will go with it for now. So when Allah, he said to the angels, I am about to create a man. Okay? Actually, in Arabic, it says, Bashar, which means a human, not a man. This is why you cannot really trust Muslim translation. From sounding clay, from mud, molded into a shape and when I have fashioned him between two bracket in due proportion and the breathe into him of my spirit they fell down you know uh, bowing down to him which means to Adam which is very story stupid I mean what why the angels would bow down to a man I mean the Muslim they say we are monotheist religion and then we find that the first one who order angels to bow down to a man it was Allah but look what happened now we have you know uh, uh, sorry I thought the screen is up to show you what I'm reading but anyway you did not miss anything it's in front of you so what we have now, we have the Quran in chapter 15, verse number 28 and 29, saying how Allah created Adam. So if we ask the Muslims now, did Allah say to Adam, be and he was before he made the mud and fashioned the mud and breathed the spirit or after? <laughs> Remember, the other verse says, how Allah created Adam? The same as Jesus. And later we will find that even Jesus have nothing to do with this. I mean, this is an absolutely stupid Quran. So chapter 3, verse number 59 says, The similarity between Jesus before Allah is as that to Adam. He created him from dust, and he said to him, be, and he was. Okay, but so why you are saying we made... Uh, we we mixed uh, dirt with water and we made a clay and then we molded the clay in a shape and then when I fashioned him and then I breathed into him and then we have Adam. Where is B and he was? Where is B and he was? And you will notice the Muslims in order to answer us about what we are saying they keep repeating lies. As an example, we have a Muslim here saying that the Christian, they worship trees. Christian, they worship pine trees. You see, the Muslim, he did not find, uh, like, because now he's trying to change the topic, he is so ashamed. And this is an example. We said to you how Muslims, they throw lies at Christianity. Okay, now we have a new God. It's a pine tree. Do you see how they lie? I mean, those those people, they have no shame. What you expect from people follow a child molester? And look, the Christian now, they worship a tree. And our God is a tree and it's a pine tree, not a different tree, okay? Not a coconut tree, okay? So this is an example of how the Muhammadan try to run away from reality. They are the same as the bird who put his head in the sand. Think that we do not see him. We are laughing at you, my friend. So I'm expecting you to give me the answer. What do you do? We worship pine tree. My friend, don't talk about pine trees. Your prophet, he's the one who made a miracle, who made the trees come and convert to Islam. I mean, that is really true story, right? While the Quran says, Muhammad clearly have no miracles. But let us go back to the topic. 
So Allah, he said, he fashioned clay, he molded the clay, uh, he fashioned uh, uh, like in the preparation, which means he did it uh, perfectly, looked like a man, he designed the fingers, he made the clay look like a nose, like a mouth, he even designed the teeth like a clay, and he made the hair like a clay, and he made the ears, and uh, even the private part, not to forget that one, this is very important, you know, especially for Muhammadan. I mean, uh, what Adam can do with our private part? I mean, pff, he's nothing, you know, you know, because you have to hold him from somewhere. So now we are going to hold Allah accountable for what he just said from the private part of Adam. How you are saying, I fashioned him, I made a clay, I made a proportion of a man, and then after all of this, I breathe into him, and now we have Adam. And then you said to me that I said be, and he was. This is totally different story, because if Allah He said to Adam be, and he was, there is no need for all of this. This this is all is a garbage. Either Allah He said be, and he was, or Allah. He did that. Not only that, the Quran confirmed that Allah, he used his hands. In chapter 38, verse number 53, Allah, he said to uh, to, uh, to uh, Shaitan, and they call him Iblis, and we ask the Muslim, where do you get the name Iblis from? Hmm, that's a good question. What prevent thee from prostrating yourself to whom I have created with my hands? I thought Allah, he said, be, and he was. Looked like Allah is using his hands now. And you know, like Allah have hands, Allah have feet, and uh, you know, and you know, the, the funny is the Muslim, they say, how you worship a man? So Allah have two hands, and by the way, both of them, they are right hands, which is very funny. Uh, that's a birth defect, I guess. Uh, but now, which one is accurate? Allah, he created Adam by saying be, and he was, or he created Adam by saying, by, by using his hand, fashioning the, the mud, and then the breathing into him, and then Adam was. The same story for Jesus. Look what happened. Did Allah say to Jesus, be and he was? I mean, who is talking here? Why this, this Quran is so stupid? I mean, have you ever heard of a book, an author of a book? He say the opposite things tons of times. I mean, this guy, he cannot maintain what he say for five minutes. This is why the Muslim, by the way, they have something called abrogation. The Quran abrogate the Quran, the Quran abrogate itself, the Quran abrogate, the Hadith abrogate the Quran. Unbelievable. So if we go in the Quran, we search, we will find the following. How Allah created Jesus? Did really he say to him, be and he was, as we saw in chapter 3, verse number 59? Let us take a look. Oh boy. Uh, this is the Quran speaking about Jesus, right? And uh, uh, there is one method when the Quran is speaking about creation. It says always Allah, he breathed. Allah, he breathed. So chapter 32, verse number 9, it says, so, uh, so Allah, he created him and he breathed. And then chapter 38, verse number 72, same, he, he fashioned him and he breathed into him. And in the end the, about Jesus is the same. Chapter 21, verse number 91. How Allah created Jesus, you know? Did he say to him, be and he was? No. Allah, he breathed his spirit into Mary. So Jesus is not from dust. Hey, Muslims, is your God Allah confused about what is a spirit and what is dust? So what Allah, he gave Mary, he gave her spirit. What came out of Mary? Jesus. And this is a chapter 21, verse number 91. And you know, the Muslims, when they, uh, you know, uh, when they translate, they try to hide the stupidity of the Quran and the, and the bad language. In Arabic, it says, uh, 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 the, uh, Mary, the one who guarded her vagina. Look at the Muslim, they say chastity. But in Arabic it says Farajaha. Wallati Ahsanat Farajaha. Fanafakna fiha min ruhina. They love to lie when they translate because the Quran is so silly, so stupid, and so rude and so straight language. It's a trashy language. 
So Mary, she guarded her vagina. Yeah, she used to have a lock there. I mean, you cannot find a better word. Guarded her vagina. What about we say, we say she was a, we say the word virgin, she was a virgin. No, she guarded her vagina. <laughs> Have you ever heard of such a stupid language? Imagine somebody asked somebody, like two girls, they are talking. Uh, she did not say to her, like, are you a virgin? Did you guard your vagina? Oh yeah, I guard my vagina. What do you do? I put security camera. What else? I put a lock. I mean, this is a stupid language. What God is her vagina? And then Allah, he breathed into her vagina. And then we have Jesus. So where is the dust? You see, in the case of Adam, Allah, he made Adam from dust. He made a clay. He mixed the clay. He fashioned the clay. And then step number four, he breathed into the clay. Now, we don't have a clay here. Where is the clay? Did Allah really make Jesus from clay Muslims? So as you see, it was a spirit given from Allah. And by the way, the funny is the Muslim, they say Allah is not a spirit and he have no spirit. And this is why we find it very embarrassing that some Christians, because they are ignorant, even priests, you know, there's many, you know, you know me, I don't sugarcoat things. Like there's many priests, they call themselves priests, but they are donkeys, literally donkeys, like 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 the the the, uh, uh, the scars of Islam. They, you ask them, they say to you that Allah is a spirit. No, Allah is not a spirit in Islam. Islam, Muslim do not believe Allah is a spirit. Allah does not have a spirit. But the Quran says, my spirit, what this is Islam, what you can say, Islam doesn't make sense. Allah, he said, my spirit, and then he have no spirit. You see, can you believe it? But this is how it is. So the stupidity of the Quran is beyond imagination. Allah, he says, I breathe from my spirit. And then you ask the Muslim, do Allah have a spirit? They will say, no, no. This is a spirit Allah, he created and he breathed from it. But this is inside him. It says, I breathe. I breathe. So this is a spirit coming from inside him. So he breathed into Mary, vagina. And then nine months after we have Jesus. Same verse appear in the Quran again. You know, not only about uh, Adam, you know, uh, about Jesus again. So if we if we read here, it says, uh, chapter 66, as I said, you know, you cannot find a, a story in one place because the Quran is a is a like, you know, is somebody uh, put the whole book in a mixer and hit the, the switch on. So in chapter 66, verse number 12, which is the last chapter, verse, verse and the verse, and the chapter, sorry. And Mary, the daughter of Amran, and here, you know, we, this is, we leave it for other video to talk about stupid mistake that Muhammad, he think that Mary, she is the daughter of Amran and she is the sister of Aaron, who is the son of Amran. This is how messed up Muhammad is. He is so good in history. Unbelievable. So Muhammad, he sat with the Jews for some time. He learned that, you know, Aaron, he have a guy, is a guy. He is a brother of Musa. They have a sister. Her name is Maryam. So, okay, Maryam is a sister of Aaron and she is daughter of Amran. And now Muhammad, he have a Quran. Thank you very much. This is what happened when you when your teacher is a fool. So Mary, the daughter of Amran, who guarded her vagina, not her chastity. I mean, look at the lies. It says here, Alati ahsanat farajaha. What a chastity. What a bunch of scammers. So, and we breathe. Look, 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 you guess he breathed into her body. They don't want to, they don't want to translate, it says, we breathe into her vagina. It says in Arabic, فَنَفَخْنَ فِيهِ 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 Oh, I forgot the Muslims, they like it slow. فِيهِ Oh, we did not hear you. And we don't speak Arabic. And by the way, Christian Prince, your Arabic is sucks. I mean, a person who is a grow up in the Middle East all his life, studying, speaking, that his first language is Arabic. Christian Prince, he didn't speak Arabic. So what I speak? What is the language I'm reading? So, فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِنَا We breathe into her vagina from our spirit. Where is the dust? Is it the Quran says that the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam? And how he was made? He made him from dust? I saw a Muhammad and somebody sent me a, a Twitter saying, brother and sisters, Adam is the same as Jesus. 
he was made in him from dust and Adam, if this is the case that Jesus have no father, then Adam have no father because Adam, brothers and sisters, he is born without father. You stupid idiot. Adam is born. Adam is born. I mean, even when they speak, they make poo poo. They don't even, they don't even give us words. According to Muhammad and now Adam is born. He's born from who? So the stupidity of this cult is beyond imagination. So now the Muslim, the Abdul, he decided to refute us. Brothers and sisters, so what if Jesus have no father? So you know what? If he is born without father, okay, we have Adam. He's born without father. And suddenly now Adam is born. Hey, Adam, maybe they, maybe they meant that you are born again, Christian. Maybe, you know. <laughs> So here you see the stupidity that the Quran totally contradict the Quran. As you see, neither Adam, neither Jesus, according to the stupid Quran itself, was created by CMB and he was. I'm going to open my scalp. And by the way, if you want to download this video, you can cut this part to make it short, you know, and post it so people, they can just see. And later, if we have callers, you know, we will let the callers join us and see if the Muslims can really. And now what the Muslims, they say, metaphorically. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is the, the, the most popular duct tape religion. To the point, duct tapes are really became so expensive in Islamic countries. Because the Muslim first duty, when he tried to answer about his religion, he duct tape. But can they duct tape, really? Can they? Let us see. We have a Muslim. He's saying, "Call me." I don't know if he's. Uh, this is from now, maybe from yesterday. I'm not sure. Let us see. Let us call. If you are a Muslim and you are alive, I mean, you are alive uh, with us. Uh, feel free to text me in Skype, and I will be happy uh, to call you. All right. Okay, okay. It is see Mr. Mustafa, the one who went not last time when we spoke to him. If you are a Muslim, please text me in Skype and I will call you immediately if you can answer how, how in the world this Quran can be a book of God. I mean, what's wrong? This is going to be the book of God. This can't even doesn't fit even for for Mickey Mouse. And you know the funny is when you say if this is a book made by other than Allah, there's no contradiction. I remember Mimi Hijab. He was speaking to this guy with his name Borat. Uh, he said to him, the Quran says if this is a book made by other Allah, you will find contradiction. So the other guy Borat, he said to him, that's fun, funny. <laughs> I have a phone book has zero contradiction. Is it from Allah? <laughs> This is how stupid this religion is because anyone can write a book have zero contradiction. How that can prove that it's from Allah? But even that, this God, this stupid God, so-called Allah, could not maintain his promise that he will make a book has zero contradiction. This is a book made, if this is made by other than Allah, you will find contradiction. We are calling the guy Mr. Metaphorical, if you remember him. Last time we died laughing at uh, his answers. Let us see if he can help us. Made by other than Allah. <laughs> what a drama. <laughs> All right, he is not answering. We will wait for any Muslim he would like maybe to join us. But as you see, this is a very stupid religion. Same time, you know, not to mention, like uh, we will make series of, uh, of videos. The Quran, you know, claim like uh, the Muslim, they say to us, we worship three gods. And then we go to the Quran, we find like, okay, we really worship three gods? Where in the Quran says that? I mean, when Muslim, they come to, to do, to, they throw at you rocks, you know, we find that the rocks are very embarrassing. You can take them and use them against them very stupid cult and i noticed for some reason 
the second you follow such a cult you lose your mind and your brain so you start believing in stupid things like camera urine is a medicine and uh, the, the sun set in murky water and the sun move around the earth and the hail is mountains in heaven and Allah he placed the mountains on top of the earth and the uh, sperm is coming from the backbone I, my backbone is hurting me you know because I donated a lot of sperm brother and then uh, women have a sperm coming from their ribs I mean it's endless endless comedy not to mention the flying carpet and uh, so the man that you know die standing and nobody notice for a year which is normal happening in the Middle East I mean all of us we die for a year nobody notice oh what you need to do is just hold a stick that's it you know and it, and what the Quran tried to prove to us that it's book from made from God by saying you cannot find contradiction there but even that was a stupid challenge even that Muhammad could not keep his book without stupidity and contradiction do we have any Muslim here there to stand up and give me a text in Skype and call me and prove me wrong anyone and you know the funny is there is verses in the Quran saying the following you know when you ask the Muslims about a verse in the Quran what they do uh, let us see what the scholar says no Muslim can read for you can you tell you his, his answer you know you have to read the scholar if, if the scholar don't agree with the propaganda they are saying they deny him so when they want they go by the scholars when they want they throw the scholars under the bus but if we ask the Muslims okay you know is the book of the Quran is the book of guidance they say yes I said so why you cannot understand the Quran and the Quran confirmed that what a Muslim would say to me oh Allah he said that there is a lot of things in the Quran nobody knows what they mean save Allah because Allah want to deceive people with it hello hello Christian friends how, how are, are you? you my friend I'm good did you hear what we are talking about? No, um, actually, I'm busy. I was about to talk to you. I called you. I didn't get you. So yeah, I you are busy. Maybe you're not online. Okay, but just sort of question. We are talking about Allah said in the Quran uh, that Allah created Adam uh, the same as Jesus from by, by saying to him, "Be and he was." In chapter three, verse number fifty-nine. Do you agree? Right. Do you agree with that? Yes, I do agree. The fact that Allah created Isa. Islam uh, in a similar way yeah okay but isn't it the Quran says that Allah he created uh, Adam by fashioning mud clay and then he uh, he makes the clay he fashioned the clay then uh, he make it in due preparation which means perfect statues and then he breathed into it where is mm -hmm. the where when Allah he said be and he was before he made the clay or after okay can I explain please yeah, you cannot say okay, you cannot, why Muslim cannot answer. I mean, you, why they have to no, explain? No, no, no. Got... No, no. Just tell me. You <laughs> yeah, can explain. You can, you, can, you can explain. No, no problem. No problem. You see, my friend, I will okay, let you explain right. as much as you want. But can you tell me all first? Right, thank you. Give me the answer first, and then explain. No okay. problem. Did Allah okay, say the what? word? Did Allah say be and he was before he use made the clay using his two hands to to put the clay together and uh, making the statues and then breathing? So did Allah say be and he was? before he did all the clay work and breathing or after well for adam what yeah for adam for adam alayhi salam yeah allah breathed inside him um after the after he created him and then the soul was put inside him for him to become a human being be my witness guys this is what i suffer with muslims i asked them did you see that did you hear the answer what is my what's my answer i asked you did he say the word be after he made the clay with his hands mix it and then fashion it and then make it at a due preparation of a human being and then he breathed to it so did he use the word be and he was before he did use his hands creating the clay mixing the clay fashioning the clay breathing into the clay or after what do you do you say yes allah he breathed yeah yeah he made the what is the what is the answer did he say be and he was before or after <laughs> I've just explained to you already. You did not. I've just Wait, yes, I okay. Have. Uh, let me repeat the question, guys. Did he explain to me? Okay. Be my witness. Uh, when okay. Allah He said the word "be" and Adam was, before He did mix the clay with His two hands, 
and mm -hmm. then yeah. mix and then fashioning the clay with his two hands and then doing preparation which may make it perfect statues of look of Adam and then breathing into Adam did Allah say the word be before he did all of this or after um okay I think that one is after after he created Adam and then the soul was be and then he become a man when he put the soul inside him the soul is be no 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 when Allah yeah yeah Allah when Allah says be yeah oh. yeah uh -huh. it can like it can either mean by putting the uh, the soul inside Adam alayhi salam to become like uh, uh, to actually finally become a human being my friend it says I breathe into him what be he yes, breathed, yes, he breathed, that's what breathed. I meant. Yeah, yes, yes. No, breathe is an yes, action, yes. not be. Don't mix things up. No, I, hang on. Let, I breathe I and this? I breathe. It's mean I breathe. He did not say be. So you can say I, it. Can I okay. explain? So you say the word, he said the word be after he finished all this stuff, correct? C can I explain, please? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Now, when Allah put the soul inside him and then he said to him, be, and then he became. Became what? A human like he can able to yeah, already he like is a human being. being. Like I mean, are you are you no, blind, no, my friend? Read no, it. No, no, read it. Read my friend, read it. It says, When I have fashioned him in due preparation, breathing into him of my spirit, all the angels fell down to him to 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 you know to to Adam. So he's a human being already. He is already a human being, not be making him a human being. The second he no. the second he gave him the spirit, Adam, he become a human being, full of human being alive. Yeah, but Allah didn't mention B on that side. No, 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 no. You see, you see, hold on, hold on. So, so what the point of saying B, if he did all the work, he breathed into him, he fashioned him, he used his hands, and now saying B and he was. So the so the Quran is lying to us saying Allah he said B and he was. That means before the word B he was not exist. No. Okay, can I? You, you, you've talked now. I mean, I won't be long anyway because I'm going to work. I do work around this time sometimes. Okay, when Allah fashioned Adam alayhi salam, yeah, and He made him like fully ready, yeah. Then when He placed the sword for inside what? Adam, ready for what? Come, come on, can, can I finish, please? No problem. But you say a what? word. I want more understanding. F uh, ready for what? Okay, okay. When Allah made Adam's body, yeah, mm. yeah complete completely ready for him to come out to have to to be a human being the last thing left was the soul okay okay are you clear with that okay so the last thing uh, yeah. is the soul yeah, be, I, remember I, okay can i continue please all right so when allah finished everything yeah apart from the soul so when he allah placed him uh placed the soul inside adam hmm. now allah commanded at the same time b and then he became every, like a, as a human being like me and you. Mm. Okay, mm. it's the same thing for. Are you clear with that? <laughs> no, that's that's the most silly answer ever I heard. Because it's look not, what because look what happened. <laughs> you you just said to me. You just said to me the last step is the last thing to do is to give him his soul. So the second you give a soul, you do not need to say be because already he have life. Isn't it the Quran says? Do you know what the verse mean or you don't know? Like the rest of the Muslims. Well, my um, look, I, I know. Look, no. Do you know any, what? Any what do you know? Do you know what I just said? Now go and repeat again, please. Okay, there's a verse in the Quran, chapter seventeen, verse number eleven. It says, "Yeah, that that a human being can was ever hasty, hasty for what? If you read the story, and you are a Muslim who called, he said to me, let us read the scholars." You, you can go to Ibn Kathir or Qutb al Tabar anywhere you want. Yes, that's right. That's you, right. You will yeah. see Haste, that when yeah. Allah He breathed into Adam, Adam He start uh, slowly. Uh, 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 slowly. He start. He he tried to move his feet. Right. You want to stand up. Yes, because the soul was the soul started from a thing from the from his feet from the bottom of his feet all the way coming okay you know? so he start so, he, he tried to move his feet right but it, yeah that's mean he's already alive and you said to me after he breathed to him allah said to him be <laughs> so the second and you what's agreed so now you just agreed that the second allah he breathed into adam adam he start his eyes functioning and it's very funny that the soul is coming downward as if it's like a download file that is very weird no hang I mean, on 
But listen, listen, my friend, my friend, my friend. I mean, even the, the, this stupidity is beyond imagination because, no, because, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So Allah, he gave him a soul and now the soul is going downward. This is what you just said, correct? Can I explain, please? Why, why you need to explain wrong. always? I mean, you just say, yes, I agree. Because, I said that or not. You said, the soul, yeah, is, you said the soul is going downward. Do you really must then believe that the soul, is it like, is it, is it some ink we put in his mouth? I is it some food? Downward. Is it some liquid? So is the soul a physical thing going downward? I didn't say downward. You said I didn't that. Say that. I didn't. No, I didn't. It's recorded. <laughs> You just keep like twisting my words. Just you, listen to you, me, yeah, please. it's recorded. <laughs> Each time you say to me something, you say I did not say that. After two minutes, it's recorded. People can say, go back. Okay. Did so I say downwards? what happened? Did yes, I say you downwards? did. Okay. Where is okay? Now Allah He gave Adam the soul. What happened? Okay. Let me explain then, please. This is better if you listen, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, in our what the Quran says and the Hadith, <laughs> yeah, is when Allah put the soul in him. And then Allah said to him, be at the same time. Do you understand what I'm saying? At the same time? So, hang on, hang on. It's more like um, simul simultaneously. When yeah. Allah put it there, the soul, and then he said to him, be. And then he became ah, a human being. Where do you get this information from? This, 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 is, this is like... In my in my understanding and what the no, 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 no. Okay, okay. You see, this is the so now you're just understanding, but as you see, uh, uh the Quran here when or right away when Allah he put the soul in Adam, Adam already is a living being, and he ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Right yeah, away, in, immediately. In, and you agreed, and you agreed that when Allah he put the soul into Adam in chapter 17, verse number eleven, the soul start doing what? Slowly, you said that. Do, repeat what you said to yeah. me. Slowly, what? It's not. It's not everything. It's not like in Surah Baqarah, yeah. No, no, no! Don't, it's don't, don't, don't! Like, answer about this one. No, no, no! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Answer about this one, and then you can go to the cow chapter, the, the camel chapter, spider, to the zoo of Muhammad. Answer me. Chapter seventeen, verse number eleven. When Allah He gave him the soul, and then He start trying to move His feet. What? Why is taking time for the soul? Explain to us. Go ahead. Right. For that one, I'm mm. not sure why, okay? Uh, why can... No, a I'm minute ago, a now. minute ago, you were sure. A minute ago, you were sure, and you said it was going down slowly. You forgot what you said? Yep. Yeah, I, I didn't say why um, it was going down slowly. I didn't say it, did, did I? You did. I said it was going slowly. Oh, you, you, no, you, I didn't. You, but you said it was going down slowly. This is on video. You know that, right? Stop it's making video. A it's in video. Okay, people, can, we can go back and see. Okay, can okay, I, can let I us, talk okay, let's this? go back to zero. Hold on. So Allah now he breathed into Adam. And now what happened? He breathed to him where? Okay, let me talk now. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So um when Allah fashioned Adam alayhi salam and created him, yeah? Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. While he put the soul in, in him, and then at the same time he said what to him. What do you mean breathe. he put the soul in him? He breathed. Yeah, breathe, yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. Yeah, sorry, how sorry, he, my uh, okay, yeah. so Allah breathe where I'm trying to ask you, but you are skipping, you know. That's why I have to what? I have to get get in interrupt you. He breathe where? To be fair, um I don't know exactly the place, but I know well, if he breathed. How many holes breathe. how many holes Adam have? Look, I'm not gonna go there, but what I'm saying Allah. Why not? Why not? Him. Allah he breathed, right. Allah he breathed into Adam. Why it's no. very embarrassing. Any question is time is an embarrassment. So Allah no. he okay, hold on. Forget, don't forget about the horse of Adam. Allah, he breathed from where? <laughs> Look, it's Allah, let me explain. Allah breathed, yeah, uh, the ruh inside Adam alayhi salam to become a human being. Now, I don't know where it is. It is. I'm not sure where, but what I'm, in my understanding and what the scholars say, he breathed inside him to become a human being. Thank you. Okay. You just say that's That's... That's enough for me. Okay. That's enough. For so me you just to... said he breathed into inside him to become a human being. So the word be is useless because if no. he say already he's a human being, you just said everybody heard you. He breathed into I'm him Can inside. I... You, you just said everybody heard you. He breathed into him inside him to become a human being. So he already is a human being. And the chapter 17, verse number 11, confirm, and even your books, according to your prophet, yes, what right away when Adam received the spirit, he started moving. Okay, can I look? 
you're not even letting me like elaborate on everything. My please. friend, please, yeah, let my me friend, we are having please. a conversation. Stop, stop playing victim. No, don't do that. Come what, on, let what me that? What that? You know, I, I cannot let you go with the word you say. You throw here and there. You are talking to Christian prince. Everything you say is going to be used against you. I'm warning you. So when Allah <laughs> He breathed, you could not, you could not answer He breathed where. You could not answer Allah breathing from where. And you could not answer Allah breathing what? Breathing what? What Allah is breathing? Okay. Are you finished? Huh? Are you finished? Can I talk? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, um, when Allah breathed inside him, yeah, at the same time, Allah said to him, be, and then he became. Where? Where you get this one from? Yeah, but this is like the explanation of the scholars and that. The Quran. Well, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Give me the scholar saying that so we can love. Because. If Allah, he did all the work by his hands, and now Allah, he decided, he said, you know what? I have a word I can say and he will be. So why he use his hands and making a clay and mixing his hand with the clay and fashion the guy and breathing into the guy? Just say be and he will be there. You know, when you say, he I mean, said Allah, to him, listen, Allah listen, you see, you Muslim trying to duct tape because when people, they see the word, he said be and he was. It's the same as in the Bible when God he said to the light, be light and light was, which means God did not use a clay and did not. He said to the, 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 the laboratory, okay, give me some rainbow, bring me some uh, white light, yellow light, uh, etc. Light, let me mix them together. No, he said, let be light, which means there was nothing, and light was. So when the Quran says, Allah, he said, be. And it was that imply that there was totally nothing, absolutely nothing. So the okay, Quran, I, um... so the Quran is lying by saying the word "be." Otherwise, if it's already exist, it's already breathing, it's already moving. So what the point of being? The guy is already moving. The guy already his eyes open. The guy is already thinking. Even there is the hadith says that when Adam, he when Allah was creating him. You know, he said, oh, Allah, finish me before the sunset. Is that correct? Okay, can I can I respond? No, is, been, is that, is that correct? Been, Go ahead. Hang, let me, because you've been ranting, you know, mm. and I mean, this is not the way to talk to people. Come ah, on, Christian, ah, okay. right? I'm sure you're a lot older than me. Ah, so come I'm on. sure, you've yeah. Got to, you've got to set examples, okay? okay? Uh, uh, can I, can I uh, let us uh, let us assume I am 54 years old. Can I marry a six years old girl? I don't know how old you are. Can I marry a six years old girl? Can I set an example for you and marry a six years old girl? Christian Prince. Can, can Christian Prince. You said to me, I need to set an example. Can I marry a six years old girl to set an example for you? <laughs> can we talk so about So don't that talk about place? setting an example and lecturing people about behavior when you have a man like Muhammad. Give me a break, man. So now go to the topic. So what happened when what happened when you're a prophet? He mentioned chapter 17, verse number 11, that the, the human being he was ever hasty. Is it true that he said to Allah, finish me before the sunset or no? I'm lying. Okay. Hmm. Um that one I'm not I haven't seen that one yet, so I can't really comment. No on that problem. One. I can show hey. you. This is not an excuse. Here we go. I will put it for you on the screen. Here we go. So I'm not um I'm actually gonna go soon because I'm working. I've told you earlier, didn't I? I, I so can't I'm, believe it. A Muslim is working. What do you do? <laughs> no, honestly, what do you do? What what do you mean you are working? Uh look, that's okay. just I, that's personal to me. Oh, right? okay, personal. All right. Yeah. yeah. I thought you want to set an example for me so I can learn from you. So when Allah he said this, you know, in the Quran. Was right. Allah was Muhammad making up story that when can Allah? You, can you um can you read it out for me, please? Okay, let us go to Ibn Kathir. Hmm? I'll go to no, Ibn Kathir. No, Ibn, Ibn Kathir. But but you said you I, don't I, like, I don't care about um, Ibn Kathir. I'm going to read. I'm like going to I'm interpret. going to read. Um, you know where Ibn Kathir get a story from? From your prophet. Okay. From okay, from. Okay, go on. No, I want I want to read it from the hadith. Okay. From the hadith. All right. Okay. Ibn Kathir is quoting. You know, he's not, Ibn Kathir was not existent. What about other one? No, no problem. Is like, is it, is it the, the drama with Ibn Kathir? No. You know? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's so let us go. Yeah. Hold uh, on. Give me, give quote, me a second. Where, where we are now here. Uh, this is a chapter uh, 17. Make sure you get it right Verse because I will be checking it later. Oh, uh, you know, my friend, we are here. We are recorded. So uh, you cannot, uh, you know, here we go. Yeah. This is the story here it says. And I want you to read with me if you can see the screen. 
And this is Ibn Kathir. Let me show you first. Let me show you. Let me show you the website. This is your Muslim website. It's called the Word of Allah. Tafsir Ibn Kathir, chapter 17, verse number 11. We go down. It says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا We go down here. We will see the story. It says here reported from 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 as usual the origin of Mr. From and then it says here uh he mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet. When his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from head downwards. And you said to me, What are you gonna read the word from from? Can I that's what that's what I was trying to tell you about. I okay, think that is um okay. about that one. Okay. It's either it, no what I was saying that his soul come from uh, it's either from his top or from his feet. I forgot about that one. So uh, Allah, I think, he, Allah I think, he kissed I his think, toes. Okay. No, no, I forget. Look, I'm a human being, okay? And you're a human being, you I'm forget so, as well. I'm so okay? I do know okay. that I do know the soul started from um somewhere like okay. his top or from mm. his bottom. Now mm. you confirmed, you said from his top. There you go. That's what I meant. For from um from um or the end of his body mm. that's where the soul started so you you yourself confirmed it okay go on mm. go on now no you yeah. tell me what happened now I, I'm, I'm listening okay so now allah he breathed into him and the soul is coming down is it slowly or fast okay can i talk please you i mean you give me drama talk okay. you know um while the soul is coming down yeah mm. that's when his life was started to come oh. alive as a Listen to me, listen to me. Let me let me finish. I'm not saying anything. Yeah? I'm just mm, yeah, the that's beginning, all. the beginning of the soul start to get inside his body, he okay. starts to feel as a human being, but oh. he wasn't complete because it has to go all the way from the top to the bottom for him to be fully human. So while that was happening, while the soul was coming through him, yeah, he was not complete human. Yeah, that's why Adam alayhi salam was in hasty. But Allah obviously had to wait for him to complete, then he can uh, come out as a fully human being. Okay? It's like when people are dying, yeah? What we believe in Islam when we're dying, our soul is taken slowly. Our body it comes out of our body slowly, slowly. It's the same thing for Adam. When he was being created, his soul came into, into his body slowly, 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 slowly. That's why when Adam felt the soul, yeah, he was in hasty, but he couldn't he couldn't get up completely because the soul wasn't finished in his body then. So he, he, Allah had to complete the soul to reach from from the top to the bottom, everything, for him to be able to get up and do his human things. Are you clear with that? Are we clear with that? Can I talk? Yes, go. When I said to you, when I said to you, when I said to you, when you, when I said to you, you said the word slowly. You said I do not say that. And now you are saying not only slowly. You are saying slowly, slowly, slowly. So you get upset from me because I said you say the word slowly, and now not so slowly. You make it like a drama, you know, slowly, slowly, slowly. So that's what I said. Hold on, hold on. My time to talk now. I listen to you. And so look yeah. what happened now. So when Allah He breathed into Adam, He could not make Adam active. And you said to me, in the same time Allah He said to it said to him, be and he was. That's what you said. But now you just said to me slowly, slowly, slowly. So if God is God, why he say be and he was not yet? So you are making things okay. up. And as you see, hold on, as you see this this the, the spirit now, the soul. Is going downward, which is very funny, as if he put a liquid or he put some, <laughs> you know, some drugs in his mouth. He breathed a soul. So the point of a soul that all your body will have a life immediately, not slowly, 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 and not only that. Okay. How, uh, 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 how, how long would it take for Adam to be finished since Allah, he breathed into him, do you know? Um, I'm not sure about that one, but what I know is like, what do you think? Like maybe a minute, two minute, five minutes. I don't know because it doesn't say that. But, but no, you just said Allah. He said be, and he was. So he said be, nothing happened. Still, he is like. That's, this is this is what I'm telling you. Uh -huh. Yeah, when Allah say be, uh -huh. yeah, I said it, I said it earlier. I said simultaneously, which okay. means at the same time. Yeah, but okay, but but <laughs> when he said be, was he or still he is a slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, when Allah put the, the soul in him, and then this Allah. This is the question now. I'm asking you about. He said, "Be now." Okay, this 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 is what I'm explaining. Let me finish then, please. Mm. Okay. Okay. When Allah put the soul in him, at the same time He said to him, "Be," 
Okay? I mean, Allah doesn't have to say be, but, yeah, Allah can do things, Allah can create things how he wants. Uh -huh. Allah can create Adam, hang on, Allah can create Adam alayhi salam without even touching him. Are you aware of that? No. But he like, prove it. To do no, 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 that's false. Because, be because if he be can do that, hold on, you see? You're lying now because if he can does that, he can do that. Then he will say be, and that's it. There's no need for hands and mud and breathing and fashioning. You're lying, my friend. If Allah can okay, do can that, oh, listen, listen. Allah is the same as any man. He is using his two hands. The Quran confirmed he used his two hands in order to fashion the clay, mix the clay, make the clay in the shape of a man, and then he breathed into him. Four stages. And then okay. you are lying to me push? saying, and then Allah, he said in the same time, said be, because there is no point of saying be, because if Allah, you just said to me, if Allah want to create anything, he created as he wish, he can just say be, but you just said that he said be, and still the slow is going slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, can I, can I, uh, can I finish Go ahead. what I was saying? Mm. Okay, what I'm saying is Allah can, let, don't interrupt me, please. Mm. Okay. When Allah Allah can create um, um, anything, yeah, uh, in a way that He wants, it's up to Allah to do it how He wants. It's either by using His hands or just declaring for something to be created like that without even touching it. So it depends how? what Allah wants. How? How Allah created? It what he wants. How Allah created by without touching using His hand? How He can create that? Can you explain to me what you would do? Because. Because Allah can create things without touching His hand. Okay, how? How? What, yeah, do, you do, what do you do? What do you do? Do He say like be because, and He was? Because Allah can do it. Because Allah has got the power to do no, it. No, no, no. I'm asking it. you. Okay. So you, you see, I'm asking it. you based in your Quran how Allah create things. You said to me, Allah, He can do it. Okay, no problem. Okay. How He okay. do it? Without, you said you okay. are the one who said without you, using His hands, right? Okay. okay. So now okay. Allah will not use are His you, hands. What Allah will use instead? You, okay. Are you aware of the story of. Um, uh, Saleh alayhi salam, Saleh in the Quran. Uh, my friend, Saleh. okay. Uh, no, no, no. We, we can go, okay. Can. We can go to Saleh, but answer me first. Allah, He want to create something without using His hands. What He will, he what, yes, what, he will what He will do? <laughs> Allah can create things without even touching His hands. Okay, I'm asking you, so how how He create without using His hand? Tell me what, what He what He use exactly. It not, The hands, there's no hands now. Okay, so what Allah will do? How he create without okay. his hands? Okay, just, just okay. So forget Saleh alayhi salam. Okay, just look at me and you. I don't want to look you. at you, my my friend. You you have half okay. of your teeth is broken. Allah cannot fix them. The dentist can fix them, but Allah cannot. So don't change the topic. I'm asking you. Allah now decide not to use his hand. You said to me he do not need to use his hand. No what problem. So so Allah now he is going to create someone like Adam without hands. How he will create him? Tell me. Okay, if you let me finish, it'll be better. Because you all keep finished. jumping from place to place. No, so, I'm not jumping. Okay, so focus with me. Allah now been. decide not to use his hands. How Allah would... Yeah. Uh, okay, now Allah, his hands is behind his back. Okay? Now, how Allah will create Adam? Let us say he's creating a new Adam. How Allah will create him? Explain to me. Go ahead. Because Allah, yeah? Hmm. Allah can either command something to be created like that without touching. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Here we go. I made you say it. So he will say be, and it's going to be. So you just confirm that your stupid Quran is the most stupid book. Because if Allah is God, he will do the same as the God of the Bible. He will say be, and he is going to be be there. But here we go. Allah, he said be, and you said to me at the end when he gave him the soul. But as you see, Adam is still is not even finished. So what the point of being is useless? What the point of all of this is useless? Allah is so slow. And not only that, do you can you believe it that Adam he said to Allah, can you finish me before the sunset? Okay, can I um, can I respond? Is so it what true? About is my... it true that Adam, okay, your you pro said... your prophet Adam, he said to Allah, can you finish me before the sunset? I'm not aware of that one. Well, it's in so front of you on the screen. It says here, he said to Allah after he looked at the, at his hold on. Okay, so when it reached his brain, he sneezed. Hachu! Yeah, alhamdulillah. And then Adam, he said, alhamdulillah. Look, Adam, he speak Arabic right away. I mean, the guy is born right away. He's just made, and now he speak Arabic. And then Allah, he said to him, may your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. So they are talking, and, but you just showed me that the, the, the guy is now is getting life slowly. So the guy is learning language, talking, and yet his spirit is not arriving to his feet. The most stupid cartoon ever. 
So when it reached his eyes, look, so Adam now is saying Alhamdulillah, and yet the soul did not even reach his eyes. It's so slow, but he learned to say Alhamdulillah right away in his sneeze. So he sneezed from his mouth. Listen, listen, just to show you the stupidity of, of your prophet. So the guy, the soul did not reach his eyes yet. How he sneezes? Sneezes from the mouth. Okay, can I talk now? <laughs> you want to sneeze? I've, uh, I've already told you, mm. yeah, when the soul was arriving, starting from Adam alayhi uh salam, -huh. he was beginning to feel human as a human, but it wasn't complete. I've already told you that. My friend, no problem. Okay. Listen okay, carefully. Okay, you're not, okay, you're wait, not listening. You're not listening. Hang on, hang on. No, no. Listen, listen. This, this is not, you this are is not, not fair. You are not, not listening. You are not listening. Listen carefully. Before you answer, listen, please. So, uh, the eyes, the, 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 the Muhammad, when the soul is coming, sorry, the, uh, the Adam, the soul is coming down. So, he sneezes. He's coming down from where? From, four, uh, from his head and down. But this is before it reached his eyes. So how his mouth is functioning, yet his eyes did not even have, there is no, there is, in that point in yeah, his, the, the soul, head. The soul, the soul doesn't have to come uh, all the way to the eyes area for him to, to uh, see as soon as, as, so, soon as he gets so the in soul, there, as soon okay. as he gets in there. Yeah, so the soul went down to the mouth and then went up to the eyes, right? No, 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 no. Well, no. he, he like sneezes. Okay, the sneeze is look. Where you sneeze, you Muslims like maybe you Muslims sneeze differently. As I know that a human being when they sneeze, they use their mouth. Correct. <laughs> you know, you don't let me even finish, man. We have been like... having a conversation. Listen, listen, and here yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm here to show everybody how stupid this religion. So how he is sneezing, and yet the soul did not reach his eyes yet. At least let me finish, isn't it? Yeah. Stop crying. How the sneeze? I'm not is crying. It how the guy is sneezing, and yet the soul did not reach his eyes. Which one come first? Maybe in the time of Adam, you know what? I think in the time of Adam, his mouth was above his eyes. This is the only solution. Are and you then, finished? can I talk? And then evolution happened. Can I talk? Sure. Is your eyes now above yours and mouth? No, or down? <laughs> okay um i've already told you about this so i can't repeat i can't keep repeating it but anyway about that when you say can allah allah cannot create um um see you are skipping my question that. my friend look at you hang you on, went you, you went back to the corner did you forget what i just said to you well, I wasn't as long finished. as long allah he said be as long allah he said be and this is how Allah, you said to me, if you don't even use to his hands. So now Allah, he used his uh, be for no reason because the guy is already created and already he is breathing and already he is sneezing and already he is seeing. And now I'm asking you, is it true? The hadith says that when uh, uh, it says here, let me read for you at, at the end so you can laugh to it with me. When it reached his eyes, he opened them like blink, blink. And then when it reached his body, what the heck? So it reached his eyes. Isn't it the eyes part of the body? Maybe in Islam it's not. And limbs, he started to stare at them in wonder. Like, what the heck I have there? Huh. He went to, to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not. He said, Oh Allah, make it happen before the night comes. I I'm ask you, it. how long it took Allah to finish Adam? You said to me, I said to you, maybe two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. No, it doesn't say the time. It doesn't say the time. It, it says. Say time. It says. It says before the, the night come. I mean, he was created from uh, Asr time. Asr time. Asr. What Asr time? What does that mean? Give me a clock. Asr time is um, three o'clock, right? Well, it, it depends what country on on the weather. Uh, okay. What? Uh, what? In uh, okay. In the weather. Three o'clock in England could be. Um, All right. Could be mug. All right. So, uh, like, uh, uh, but is it an average like three, uh, three, uh, three p.m.? No, it depends on the country, mate. It's like oh, in Saudi Arabia around. It's okay. Like in Saudi, in Saudi Arabia. Arabia. Around, okay. In yeah. Saudi Arabia, what is that? What does Asr mean in Saudi Arabia? Asr is like, um, I think it's like around five, half five, ah, okay. around that time. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, uh, when five, you, when five you pray, PM. not not a.m. Five p.m. Five p.m. Not a.m. Uh, okay, so when uh, when the Muslim they pray uh, Asr, they play five p.m. Well, in Saudi Arabia, yeah, not all of my the friend. World. You are lying. Asr is two two usually two fifty five p.m. 
Three, as no, I said. No, that's Zuhur. That's Zuhur. No, my friend, this is Asr. You are an idiot of the village. You are talking to Christian Prince. Here we go. Okay, okay. Where where I come from, in my country, Asr was around five or half five. My friend, here we go. Asr is 2.55 2, uh, p.m. So, uh, where? Uh, in South no problem doesn't matter it's going to to okay that is a shame okay for, matter, for the sake of argument matter. my friend okay okay so now so uh, uh, it is afternoon Asr mean afternoon doesn't mean night correct yes yes exactly yeah, okay so I mean, it's afternoon, afternoon yeah. not night so now that be before yeah, be, afternoon, be, afternoon, between the, between the afternoon and night there's many hours so how many hours yeah, took Allah to finish Adam and how in the world Adam is saying to Allah finish me before the night comes okay but the afternoon mm. in 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 um in the european time starts from 12 12 noon so okay. in islam yeah mm. it depends what country you are for you to play pray the afternoon because of the weather is that clear okay uh, uh allah he created adam in earth well, uh, in heaven in, in in heaven there's afternoon <laughs> Look, in, in our why are you are laughing? I mean, you Muslims are really mentally crazy. So you are talking about the Look, guy is in heaven, and now he is talking about the sunset in heaven. Okay, Christian Prince, I gotta go because I'm gonna go to work. Can I call you back tomorrow? We can uh, talk about yeah, it. you can bring your dad with you, no problem. Don't they, uh, call me after uh, uh, Asr, you know, afternoon in the time of what India. Time? What, what I time don't are know you when I go live, my friend. Just go, take care, take care, take a hike. Right, Don't forget care, your bike. Care. Okay, and take your broken take tooth. Care, okay. <laughs> we are talking about heaven. Heaven. The, the, the Muslim, they say that the heaven, the sun never set, and always there is light, there is no night, there is no day, there is you not know, sunset before the night comes. The stupid Muhammad, you forgot that he is speaking about heaven. Because according to Islam, Adam was not created in earth. In Christianity, Adam and Eve created an earth. And how even Adam knew that the sun is going to set soon? The guy is not even moving. I mean, like he just start moving his fingers and his toes and his eyes are blinking. Blink, 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 blink. And now Adam, he knew about sunset and where in heaven? I'm truly, truly convinced. <clears throat> And the second they are like, you know, it's an embarrassing. I have to go because my mom is calling me and my dad is there and my daughter is doing breastfeeding for adult. Do you see why we laugh at this stupid religion? This poor Abdul, I feel sorry for him. He tried his best to duct tape the stupidity of the Quran, but it was a big failure. And when the Quran says, Allah, if you wanted something to be, he said to him, be and it was. That is a big failure because none of the creation of Allah was created by B. None. Like in the Bible, it says, God, he said, be light and light was. But everything in the Quran created by time and took a lot of time. If you go in the Hadith, let us go to Muhammad. And now what they will say to us, Muhammad is a liar. It doesn't say that, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. Brothers and sisters, you know. Oh, look, oh, oh, hold on. Maybe Zachary Naik will call me. Christian Prince. First of all, you should not quote Prophet Muhammad because Prophet Muhammad has nothing to do with the topic. What do you mean he's not? He's, he's the one who told you all these stories. Christian Prince. First of all, Allah Prophet, he speaks metaphorically. As an example, Allah, he said that you will have a private part will be in this. Okay, that is the metaphorical for what? For your brain. What the heck? The private part, English, is metaphorical brain? Exactly. Because we know, as I can, just go, just, just leave me alone, man. So look at this stupidity. The messenger of Allah, he hold my hand. Look, Muhammad, can I talk without holding your hands? You know, come on, just be careful. You know, he touched you. If he touched you, you are gone. So he said, Allah, the glorious, the exalted, the glorious, he created the earth in Saturday and the mountains in Sunday and the trees in Monday and the, the thing is in Thailand labor on, on Tuesday and the light in Wednesday. Do you remember Ahmad Didat? He was laughing at the Christian. He says, your God, he created the sun in Wednesday and the earth was out without sun. All those tears, 
all those days. <laughs> you know, the stupid did that do not know what his prophet said. That's why those people, when they debate, they debate people who do not know Islam. They choose carefully. They will speak to who? Otherwise, if I am there, I will make him shish kebab in two seconds. But anyway, even if he's dead, he's a shish kebab. He's in hell. He spread out animals and all kind in Thursday. And he created Adam in the afternoon Friday. What? And it was the last hour of Friday between the afternoon and the night. <laughs> Read with me. Read with me. So where is Allah? He said, be and he was. And not only that, Actually, if you count the days, you will see that Muhammad, he made a big stupid mistake because now they are not, look, how many days? Listen carefully. Did you count even the days? Because many people don't really look carefully at what they are reading. Did you count the days? Muhammad, he started creating at Saturday. When he finished the creation, Muhammad, Allah, in Friday, but the Quran keeps saying Allah created the earth and heaven in six days. This is what happened when you have an Arab, an educated man, become a PhD teacher, a professor. All those verses in the Quran saying Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. Everything between them. The earth and the heaven and whatever between them in six days. Six days clear, you know, there's no like addition. Anything between in the earth and between them created in six days. And then Muhammad he made them seven. So, my friends, as you see, we as a Christian we have a billion reasons to laugh at Islam. Islam is not even a religion, Islam is a mix of cocktail of stupidity. And this is why I say, if someone like a foolish man like Muhammad can fool you, how stupid are you? How fool are you? This is reality. You have to be mentally ill to be convinced by the idiot of the village. And the funny is, they say the similarity of Adam and Jesus is the same. Allah said to him, created them from dust. And then we find that neither Jesus, at least Jesus, in the case of Jesus, he is not from dust. The Quran says Allah, he threw his word to Mary. And then he breathed into her, which means if he said be, it should be before. So why he breathed? <laughs> but Adam is not the same as Jesus, you idiot Muhammad. Jesus has no father and the Muslim cannot explain to us why he have no father. Adam, he have no father because simply he's not born. So don't even compare, you're an idiot. When we ask who is the father of this person, then we, we acknowledge that he have a lineage. In the case of Adam, he have no lineage, he's, he's the first man. So when a Muslim he say in his video, Adam, brother and sisters, he's the same as Jesus. He's born without father. This is stupid statement. Born what born? If we ask the Muslims, who is the one who made Mary have Jesus? They will say God. Well, that is the father then. If I made a woman have a child, I am the father of that child. In the case of Mary, because the Bible is not speaking about any sexual conduct. The Quran again proved the stupidity of Muhammad. So Muhammad, he wanted to get the Christian busted. So he said to them, how Allah can have a son yet he don't have a girlfriend, huh? But do any Christian believe that God, the father, he have a girlfriend, her name is Mary, and they were dating, and then they get married, and then they have a baby, his name baby Jesus. So the stupid, the stupid Quran, you know, as we see in the Quran, chapter 6, verse 101, showing us again that the God of the Quran cannot be God. He don't even understand what the Christian believe. And to make it more stupid, it's the same book says that Mary, she was virgin. Isn't it the other verse says that Mary, she guarded her vagina? So what the point of this verse? Nothing. 
the point of this verse is proving to us that Allah cannot say the word B and it's going to be why because if he can have a son by saying B then why he is complaining that he cannot have a son without having a girlfriend are you getting my point guys do you understand if Allah can have a son can Allah have a son by saying B no who says so? The Quran. The Quran says, how can he have a son? And the Quran translation is false, by the way. It says concert. In Arabic, it says sahiba, which means girlfriend. I mean, even the language is savage. I mean, why, why God is speaking about girlfriend? I mean, aren't you against fornication? Even you? You want to have a girlfriend? So if Allah, he can have a son without having a woman by saying B, then what is the logic here? You know, the one who is questioning the ability is not me now. It's Allah. Allah saying, how can he? And here you see the funny uh, uh, language. Allah saying, how can he? Who are you then? Huh? So obviously the one who wrote this verse, if we can call it a verse, is Muhammad. This is not God of Muhammad. Because if Allah is talking, he will say, how can I? And by making such a verse, again, Muhammad making a big, big poo-poo, the smell is all over the place. Because if Allah, he can say be, and is going to be there, then he do not need a girlfriend. Oh, what do you need to do? Okay. Be son, and he will have a son. But as you see, Allah is in disability. He's like me and you. A man, he cannot have a son unless he have a woman. A woman, she cannot have a son unless she have a man. Neither any of them can have individually without having the other partner. Allah is the same. Therefore, Allah cannot be the almighty God. Because when we say the word almighty, we are talking about someone above physics. Above nature. What goes for me, it doesn't go for him. Like, did Jesus give medicine to people when the blind need to see? No. Did he told the guy take a drink, uh, the neglace, the three times a day, and ajwa, so he can walk? No. He just said to him, walk. And the man, he walked. Carry your bed and walk. That is B. That is Jesus. Carry your bed and walk. Do you see what B mean? That is Jesus. So the Muhammadan, they have a pagan God, is the moon God, and we prove it over and over. And this is, cannot be a statement from God, because God don't speak stupid. And God is not a stupid. And God, he don't question even his ability. I mean, I can say that to myself, facing reality, how I can have a son yet I don't have a girlfriend or a wife. But Allah, he says such a thing, that is stupid. Where is the power of the word be? It's gone. No power. Zero power. Our Lord, the Messiah, the Bible says, there's nobody can count how many miracles he did. He is the word of God. And the word of God has the power. He is the one and the only one can say be and was, it was. The God of Muhammad could not heal Muhammad from the pain. He was dying slowly like a rat and he could not heal him. If we go to John chapter 5, you will see then Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your mat and walk. 
That is B, and it was. Can we compare? No, we cannot. That is God, my friend. The God of Muhammad is in this ability. And this is the power of God when God say, B is going to be. See and you will see. Whoever die and believe in me will live. And Jesus, according to the Quran, he resurrected people from death. He healed the leper. He made the blind see. Even he created the bird from the mud and breathed into him. And the Muslim, they said to us, by the leaves of Allah. But as you see, Allah cannot even have a son without having a girlfriend. Allah could not even convince us how a creation of Adam came to be true because it's full of contradiction. So Jesus says unto him, Rise, take up your, the bed, and walk. Jesus did not say, How I can make you walk? What do you think I am? You see, if you have a homeless in the street, a poor person, a blind person, begging for help, he don't beg to make me walk because he knew this is impossible. He will beg for a sandwich. He will beg for little money. But only Jesus, you can ask him, Lord, I want to walk. Lord, I want to see. That is Jesus. And that is our Lord. Yours is zero. He is a stupid. He says stupid stories. None of his stories make sense because he is not nonsense God. He is a fiction of the Arab. And I am an Arab. And I am here to get you busted. Allah and his prophet, false prophet Muhammad. I hope today we have a good time. Don't forget to download my video. All my videos are for free. I don't, you know, I don't charge people for what I do. And uh, uh, the Lord, he says, for free you give, you took, for free you give. So be a person who is brave, who stand for the truth, and share what we are sharing with you, either by giving the link or even teaching your friends, teaching your family. Don't let the devil, de 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 you know, deceive your children. Share with them what you learn. Because, my friend, the devil is in your door. If you think you are safe and secure, you are badly mistaken. The devil is real. Satan is real. Evil is real. And denying it is just a stage of denial, of stupidity. So if you want to be saved, then you have to educate yourself, educate your family. You close the door, the devil will come from the window. You close the window, the devil will come to you even from your church because we have many false priests who they are saying that Islam is Abrahamic, which is absolutely false. If they added the word Abraham in their book, that will not deceive us. The God of Abraham is a spirit. Their God is not. The God of Abraham have a son. Their God is not. The God of Abraham is almighty God. He can do. He say, be light and light was. He say, walk and you walk. Muhammad and his God are in this ability. The only ability they have is terrorism. And people convert because of fear. But only cowards, they have fear. People who follow Jesus, Fear is under their feet. And every day, we will give Muhammad a defeat. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly for today. I hope to see you soon. Don't forget to leave a comment about what you heard in the video. Please don't give me silly you know, comments saying, thank you, Christian Prince. I'm not here to receive your thank you. I'm here to hear you. I want to see smart people talking. Stop saying thank you. It's a silly comment. Thank me for what? If you want to say, say something useful. Say something will help somebody. Give me your thought. Post a verse from the Bible. Post a hadith from Muhammad. Do something. Stop being thankful for nothing you did. 
You did. You want to thank me? What you did? Thank you. Do something. And then you will be thankful for you are exist. If you cannot be th thankful for your existence and doing something useful, so what is the point of your existence? Are you an ant? Are you a number? And then you die and nobody remember you? The Lord, he says, you will know them from their fruits. From their fruits, not your names. So please, give a fruit. Help the others. Share knowledge. And be Christian. Thank you. And God bless you.